is Alan Ander again, and um, here's my YouTube channel. And I just want to make another quick video because as I was doing my What's in My Doc video, I went by an application that I actually wanted to review of you guys. That application is called Jing. And what that application does is allow you to take a, a snapshot of anywhere on your desktop, just how Grab does, and then use it. Um, it, it allows you to make a text box so you can point something out. It also has arrows and has a lot of good stuff. You can also capture. And um, I just found it yesterday. So let me go ahead and get it right here. And it's called Jing. And the website for it, I had to Google it. It's the very first one, the jingproject.com. It's a free download. You can get it for both Mac OS X, 10.4.9 or later, or you can get it for Windows XP or Vista. And uh, if you're a Windows user, .NET Framework 3.0 is required. So um, you can go to this website, www.jingproject.com. I'll find more information about it. See a video tour first. And there's the features you can do. You can snap a picture of anything on your desktop, record a video of what you do or what you see, and instantly upload. This is probably similar to ScreenFlow, just that I like ScreenFlow better because it allows you to edit the video and export it in HD, just how you're seeing it right now. And how you saw it in my uh, recent videos. So I'm going to open up Jing. And when you open it up, you get this nice introduction. And this little Jing is actually a sun. And it's put right on this side of your Mac. It's over here on the upper right corner where the spotlight is. And when you click it, three other three sun rays pop up. One of them is Capture. The other one is history, and the other one is more. Um, it doesn't have to be there. You can actually move it just by tapping. You can actually move this. Hold on. It doesn't want to move. It wants to stay there. There we go. So the sun can move anywhere. I can put it right here up on top. Oh, it doesn't want to move. Wow. It's being naughty today. All right, so when I press capture, my... I. It, now it becomes a full um, pointer, and I can actually select anywhere I want to take a snapshot of. So, you know, before I actually capture, let me just do a go back, and let me show you an example of what I did. Um, let's say I want to do a snapshot of my whole biography, and I want to have it as an image, or maybe there's just a picture I want to take, but it doesn't let me save it. For, for example, sometimes some Flickr photos. So I'm going to tap Capture, and I'm going to start here, and, I'm, I, and I can actually drag really nicely here. Just I'm using my MacBook's trackpad, so it just take a little while to get this to work. So let's say I, want, I just want to get up to here. Maybe I can use this. And so now it's ready, and now it asks you to do something. What you want to do in that little space right there, do you want to make you want to grab it as an image, you want to record video around that space, or do you just want to start over and select another part or cancel. It also shows you the capture size, so I'm going to click on image, and there we go. It launches the Jink Editor. And let me show you what you can do here. First of all, you can name it, so let's say it was a subscribe me. In this case, of course it says edit channel. I'll have to be logged out for it to say subscribe. Well, here's the text. And I can actually make myself a text box anywhere I want. Right here's fine. And let's say I wanted to say, please subscribe. Of course, I need to make the text box a little bit larger. Doesn't let me resize. Hmm. This all this does is increase. I can make it small like that. Please subscribe. You guys get the idea. And of course, I can. Oh, there we go. Make it larger the size of the text please subscribe and I can also change the color of the if I want it to be green I want it to be blue let's keep it at black and I can also change the background so really nice really nice let's go with red there we go so now I can put an arrow so let's say um, I put a text box um, I put a text box and let's say I want to link to, uh, I want to link you to somewhere that I want you to click or that I want you to see. 
So I can actually just start dragging, and this big arrow just gets, gets bigger as you stretch it, and it moves in any direction you want it to go, which of course I wanted to go to this orange button. And you select it, and you can press the the um, the arrow, and I believe you just point it out like that. You can resize it if you want, but I just want to connect it along with the box. And I can also move it this way to make it more um, together. I can also do multi-point, so let's say after you do that, I want you to go down here. So, and of course I don't want to do that, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to press the delete key on my MacBook keyboard to delete it. And that's how you delete stuff, by the way. Um, to select the color, if I want to go along with the red, I can just click on this square right here, and then choose red. And it makes it a lot, and it, look at the pop it does, so it looks really nice. Um, I, I believe what this feature does is allows you to paint anywhere. Or it allows you to highlight. There you go. I call it highlight. So let's say I actually wanted you guys to uh, make sure that's what I want you to do. I can put the highlight. And this other one is called a frame. So if I want to put a frame around my picture, I can. And I can put any color. And it's not just those standard colors. You can actually put, make your own color. This uh, nice vibe comes out. Make yourself a nice color. And you can use that in response. Um, it's not changing the color. Oh, there we go. I had to do that. Well, you guys get the idea. All right. Now, once you're done, there's several options on the bottom. First, you can upload it to Screencast.com, which I don't have a subscription to it, so I don't really care about that. Flickr, which I can upload it to my Flickr account, or I can um, upload it to my FTP server. But I don't have any of that, so I need to do it as a file. So I press File subscribe me and now all I have to do is press save right here or you can send a file and embed send a file to a URL copy or cancel so I'm gonna press save and now it's gonna ask me where to save it the desktop sounds fine and once that's done you'll get a notification that your capture has been saved and Jinx still stays up here just in case you want to continue running it and of course there's a picture right there and of course it isn't at maximum Resolution, it's at the resolution I chose it. Now, if you guys recall on one of my videos where I asked you guys to please subscribe to my channel, um, you guys can actually see how I actually um, bring you guys to please subscribe. You know, it's something I want, I, I ask you guys to please do. You know, I'm not forcing you guys to do it. You know, if you want, if you want to, if you like what you see on my channel, this is what you normally do. So I put it in the middle of my page, and the way it fades out, it's really simple. All I, all you have to do is open up iMovie right here, and generally, I, I just, um, there's a uh, me recording my last video. That's this is how I got it on HD, and here's my MacBook unboxing in HD, but unfortunately, it's, it's over 11 minutes long, as you can see right there. So if you guys are want to notice. So I'm going to make a new project, I'm just going to call it subscribe. And the aspect ratio, it can be standard, it can be widescreen. But we'll go ahead and put widescreen. If you guys want to have that HD effect. Then all I have to do is just drag the media to make the project. And as you can see, when you play it as a video, let's go ahead and press space, it does a fade out for you automatically, but it only lasts four seconds. So what you do, you go you right click, you go to set duration, and you put I put 30 seconds on mine, I believe, or 15. So I apply only this accepted photo, and now it lasts 30 seconds. And of course, with this slider, I can duplicate it to the different clips, just in case I want to add a title or I want to put some backdrops every time it moves. But I like to keep it at one. Finally, we can finally um, go to project properties and set the transition. If I want it to fade through black, a cube, uh, how long the transition should last. Click OK, press space. Uh, you'll get this message. I usually overlap the ends. And now when we start the video over here, it pops up. And after I do that, I export it as a video. It's the quickest video you can ever make. Um, you know, you can make it in HD if you want. And of course, you do. What I did was just go to share YouTube, log in, um, put all the information, put the size to publish, and I just. Let iMovie do the rest.
So that's a review of Jink. I just wanted you guys to see what Jink was all about. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. So this is Jink. How to close Jink, I really have no idea. That's one thing I want to talk about more. It doesn't show a little, one of those blue open icons like that. Where it shows you that it's open, it just is there. So maybe to close Jing, I probably need to go to settings and then done. Okay, that's how you turn it off. So you just go to oh never mind. There you go. You go to settings and it shows you the about, and you just press the stop sign with the hand on there, and it'll quit. It lets you to quit, and that's it. So this is Alan Anger on my review of Jing. See you guys later.